Hi, hi, and welcome to a new episode in our travel series. Are you in the mood for a new trip? Well, we're heading to Northern Italy this time, and we're linking our exploration to two major design events. One of them is the Furniture Fair in Milan and all the events around it throughout the city. And the second is uh, the Biennale of Architecture in Venice. So I'm very excited to show you. Join me and let's explore. So we're obviously still in a transition um, in these pandemic times. So the Salone is not the exact same format as in normal years. So for this format, it's called Super Salone and it is actually designed by architect Stefan Budi. It's a much more smaller format and it's a much more local Italian format. However, it was still very much worth visiting. To me, what makes Milan Design Week so special, so unique, is actually Fuori Saloni, which means out of the fair. So it's a collection of all the events and all the showrooms that are opened, anything that's going on throughout the entire city. And that's really where you can find the most unique installations, most unique concepts. <music> Super Studio and at Super Studio Max, you can see a very nice blend of being ultra creative, incorporating ballet and, and expressive dance, together with sponsorships by big companies and beautiful displays that really evoke thought and where you want to explore more. In one of these old palazzos you'll find Dior and what's actually their biggest presence ever at Milan Design Week and they asked 17 um, designers and artists to reimagine their iconic medallion chair. The result is quite stunning and, and very much a special experience. One of the installations that stood out probably most to me is the one by the Mori Studio, a um, very well-known agency. Well, they created this past, present and future exposition in a apartment residential setting, walking you through um, the 30s and really showing many design concepts, many archives that have influenced them in their current projects. On the outside of the city center, you'll find the home, the headquarters of Toilet Paper Magazine. They're an image-only magazine, ultra-creative, and in a collaboration with the brand Saletti, 
They created a, an environment that's entirely about their imagery, their brands, what they stand for and reflect it in every single corner of this home. One of the really fun discoveries along long, long walks throughout the entire city was the installation by Moy at a floral, floral booth, floral shop in the streets um, and they displayed their Hortensia armchair in a, in a very unique setting. So it was very cute and actually made me smile a lot. At uh, one of the historic buildings of the University of Milan, there's this incredible courtyard where multiple creatives have made these experiential installations. So it was great to see people really absorb the design. And then throughout the entire university, there was also an installation by Brazil, um, focusing on Brazilian designers and promoting Brazilian design, which I think as a country was a great initiative and it was the only country to really be there collectively promoting their designers. What I always enjoy about these types of weeks, design weeks or design events, is discovering talent by students and, and just startup designers. And so one of the districts that focuses heavily on that is the Isola Design District. And in an old textile factory, the Sassetti factory, there are so many different displays by young talent, so it's definitely something I very much enjoyed. Well, we can't take you to Milan and not show you any other Italian cities, so we're taking a quick stop at Le Como, Venice, Florence and Verona. One of the other major events that's happening right now in our industry in Italy is the Biennale of Architecture and the 2021 edition which is happening in Venice is all about the question how will we live together so different architects from all over the world are giving their interpretation and their ideas on that very important question. Thank you. 
must be 